All right, it's been a while since I've done this, but let's see if we still got it. That shit was weak. We could do better. Oh man, that was fun. For all you hoopers, you should know, you should always have a ball in the trunk for moments like this. Just driving around, seeing a court that you want to hoop on real quick. That was a good time. I haven't played in like two months, so I'm rusty as hell. I'm surprised I was even able to get up to the room. But happy New Year's Eve, y'all. That was just a little bit of a sidetrack. Wanted to show you guys a little bit of the shit I'd be doing outside of music festivals. Day one was amazing. I was surprised I got to see as many people as I wanted to see because I was coming in a little late, but still got to see basically everyone I wanted to see except Kezo and Black V-Neck who were a little bit earlier. But basically everything else got to see at least 10, 15 minutes of. Super good time. If you want to check out that video, I'll put it up right here, somewhere up in that area. Definitely check that one out. It was a super good time and I do a lot better job at talking when I'm not out of breath in that video. So <laughs> go check that one out for sure. Right now I'm about to go get some grub. Oh, I'm tired now though, bro. That food was fantastic. Oh my God. I was planning on getting that food takeout, like I said in the last clip, but I went to the bar in there, there was a bar, and the dude was super chill, had a drink, it was only $4.50. For those of you that live in like LA or New York or Miami or Chicago, somewhere like that, those big popular cities, I don't think you're getting four fifty for a drink, bro. A mixed drink, that shit's crazy to me. In LA, that shit's like $11, so that was actually amazing. I got a little drunk let's be honest i had quite a few drinks there i was there for like three or four hours the bartender pulled out his nintendo switch we started playing super smash bros i was having a good old time so man that was fun i actually only have another about hour hour and a half until i have to leave for the festival so i'm about to roll my last blunt get my clothes on and yeah other than that i'm about ready so let's get straight after it happy day to y'all this is the fit for the night we got the Subtronics, complete Subtronics fit, fuzzy bucket hat, can never go wrong. Let's get straight to it. We already late for Yoki, so we going. All right, so we made it in. I'm trying to get over to the Grand Palace to see Yuki and get a good spot for Subtronics because we're trying to be in front center for that motherfucker. So let's get to it. I'll see you guys at the Grand Palace for Yoki.
How's it going everybody? Pardon the interruption so early into the video, but Subtronics is on after Yuki's set on day two and I have about an hour of Subtronics footage. You guys know me, I always get the most Subtronics footage. So if you guys wanna watch that, I'm actually gonna leave it out of this video and I have the full set up here or up here, not sure which one it is, but it'll be in one of those corners. If you do wanna watch that Subtronics set, I highly recommend watching it because that shit was crazy. As usual, he threw the fuck down. But I 100% continue watching this video because the person, the artist who comes on next, his name is World Cypher. I have not heard of him before. My girlfriend said she had. I was looking up social medias like crazy, sound clouds. I couldn't find him. So if you guys know this guy or if you know his social media or anything, please drop it down in the comments because I'm trying to follow this dude's come up. He's about to be big. So. Definitely stay and watch this next upcoming clips because World Cipher threw the hell down and personally I think I was more impressed by him than I was Subtronics that night. And that's you know, it's not really too surprising because I've seen Subtronics like 20 times and that was my first time seeing him and I'd never heard of him and he completely blew my mind. So obviously he's gonna just he exceeded expectations. So Subtronics is always gonna be good and he's always supposed to be good, and he was. But World Cipher blew my mind blew my expectations was completely not on my schedule had no idea who he was and was my favorite set of the night so definitely stay and watch the upcoming clips and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video I was gonna go take a piss and I literally could not leave after I heard him. Oh my god. 
I don't even know where the bathrooms are at anymore. I am just lost. Wow.
kid. And just like that, we heading back to Cali, baby. Yeah. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for the day two vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Honestly, I underestimated this festival a lot. I saw all the good headliners, and you know, I knew it was gonna be great artists. But I saw a lot of mix, you know, mixed opinions on Reddit and you know, Twitter about the actual venue that it was at, and. I just heard some bad things about it, so I came in with a little bit of a lower expectation and it exceeded it by far, it completely exceeded my expectations, honestly I had such a great time. The fact that there were two stages was great because I was able to just hop back and forth the entire time, get right front and center, the crowd wasn't too big as to, you know, compared to LA shows where it's so many people, it's so hard to get through crowds sometimes. I was able to get right where I wanted to be, hear all the artists, there was no bleeding from either stage surprisingly too, which is just you know a shock considering how close they were and the other two stages in the back it just honestly was really well set up and i had a great time so i don't want to speak too much else on that other than the fact that i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch you in the next one i believe the next video will be thunderdome so that's going to be a good one stay tuned for that one all right peace out y'all